Hi, my name is John Gabriel. Welcome to my new calculus channel. In today's video, I'm going to discuss a little more uh, further to what I was discussing in a previous uh, video, which was on the tangent line and how it works in the new calculus. So I think if you recall correctly, I told you in my last video that the definition uh, mainstream academics use is actually wrong. And you really can't use this ridiculous definition of uh, derivative uh, simply for the many reasons that I've told you and also the very fact that um, a tangent line cannot be based on this uh, being uh, the primary reason being that it's circular, that this definition is ill-formed and for the very fact that you cannot even begin to talk about a derivative unless both continuity and smoothness is present. So if we look at the circle, and we'll see that the general derivative is this expression here, minus x over minus x squared plus 1. So anywhere along here, all we have to do to find the numeric der derivative is to place the x-ordinate into this expression. In other words, for, for example, if we wanted to find the derivative here, we'd place minus 0 0.6 into x and find the derivative there. But notice that the derivative is not even defined here or here, okay? So, you know, you have stupid academics saying, oh yeah, as long as the derivative is defined, or as long as there is a tangent, that there will be a gradient, okay? And in this particular case here, as you see in the case of the circle, there is a general derivative. There is always a general derivative. Even in the new calculus, there is a general derivative. So for example, if you look at the cubic, in the new calculus, um, you can actually have the general derivative, which is just 3x squared, okay? The general derivative is 3x squared. But it doesn't mean that there is actually a, a tangent line there, because there isn't, see? Tangent lines cannot cross the curve. And this is the original definition. You know, it's just as well that Newton and my brilliant ancestors weren't like the fucking morons of the last 400 years. Let me show you why, you know, you can't have that kind of thinking. Well, if you look at Newton's root approximation method and you try to find the derivative or to find the root at any point of inflection, it won't work, okay? Whether it's a cubic, whether it's a... A third root, it doesn't matter. If there's a point of inflection, you cannot find the root as explained in Newton's uh, root approximation method. So if we look at this here, and we try to get close to the root, um, there is just simply no way that it's going to work if this is exactly on, if this is exactly at the origin. Now it's going to get close, so if I have to set into this uh, value here, you see 0 over 0, I mean, that's not going to work, right? And similarly, if I had to change this expression here to uh, this particular function, um, oops, nope, minus 1. Okay, so then what's happening here is that there's going to be a point of inflection at 1, at x equals to 1. So I'm just going to do this, and then I'm going to move this here and see. Let's see what happens, okay? So it doesn't matter as far, as close as I get to x is equal to 1, this expression here will become undefined again. So it doesn't matter where you are. If there is a point of inflection, the root approximation method will not work. Uh, and there's a good reason for that, because um, if there is no tangent line, there is no derivative. So for some unknown reason, mainstream morons believe there is also a tang tangent line here. 
but in this case here, there is no derivative. On the other hand, if this was the cubic function, there is, according to them, also a tangent line there and a derivative. So there are a lot of inconsistencies in the bogus mainstream calculus. And if we go back to this other uh, applet here, you'll see again that there's no tangent line at the point of inflection. And we can also look at the cubic root here and the same story here. I mean, if we reach a point of inflection, then there will be no tangent line. Okay, and the reason for that is that to have a derivative, you must have a tangent line. So the new calculus handles points of inflections correctly. The bogus mainstream calculus does not. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this short presentation. My name is John Gabriel, and this is a new calculus channel. Till next time, goodbye.